Okay, so I'm back. I've been and had a look at the documentation on um, Pattern Labs website. Uh, generally, it's not too bad. I think it took a little bit of finding um, and a little bit of guesswork. So I'm going off of um, my experimentations with Rare Loops, uh, Pattern Library before. So I think what's going to happen is um, we need to set this to watch um, for any changes and then in the um, local files we're going to create um, the patterns ourselves and hopefully the, um, the menu on the top of the serve file here um, There it is. Um, so here, hopefully this will be populated when I start to create a directory in the um, in the folder. So we need to run a command that will hopefully serve And watch the um, changes as they happen. Here we go. So we can simply now type gulp and lab colon watch. So now if we go back to here. Hopefully this is still running. Hmm. Okay, so hopefully now if we cancel this and then just change that to serve, it will watch and serve at the same time. Unless okay, let's try serving. Okay, so now we're back up and running. So we can go back into our pattern library here. And then all our source code goes in source. And now we can create our patterns in here. So 
if we open our text editor and I'm going to be using pattern we can create a source file so I'm going to start by testing this by creating a simple button old instances okay so we're going to create an input type button What I'm going to do actually, um, just so we can test this functionality, is I'm going to put a handlebar in here and I'm going to say um, BTM text. So I'll save this under the pattern library source. Folder. So here, source patterns. So I'm going to create a new folder and we're going to call it elements. And then I'm going to create then we're going to have a group called buttons, so we're going to have button elements inside here. So I'm going to call this default button. I'm going to save it with a handlebars extension. So that's saved. So what I'm going to do is we'll create a JSON file that'll handle the data. So I call it PTN text. And then here we'll have click me. And then we'll save that in the same place. And if I remember rightly, the documentation says that this should be saved with the same name as the uh, element or component that you're making. So. There we go, and this will allow for easier overriding when you're adding uh, modules later. So we're also going to call that default buttons dot json. So we'll save that. So you can see in our command line that. Um, Gulp is working and it's watching the changes and it's rebuilding each time I save and maybe changes. So hopefully now when we go back into our browser and we refresh, we might see something happen if we're lucky. Nope. Okay, so we'll terminate 
this. We'll rebuild. And we'll serve it again. Okay, so handlebars isn't working. So we'll just change this file extension to a mustache. Extension. see ah there we go so handlebars wasn't working um, which is surprising because handlebars should be an extension of mustache but as you can see uh, serve does uh, watch and reload the browser um, so this is my buttons group here I presume this is my default button Called click me. Got a few issues with um, thing, and as you can see here in the menu, um, as I predicted, it's um, automatically created the um, the menu, so I can click here and view all the buttons in those elements so that's really nice so that means we can actually create our own terminology rather than having to stick with um, pattern libraries um, default um, as we look in the demo here so they have atoms molecules organisms templates pages so um, you can create your own which is quite a nice feature if you're setting up so now I know how this um, is kind of working. We can now see um, see the code. So we can say show pattern info, and here you can see that this is a um, handlebars with a stash code, um, which is. Which is there. So this is a um, you can see the I templated in the button text, and obviously the um, JSON data file that I wrote um, has also been picked up because the text here uh, has been rendered as click me, as I stated in that JSON file in here. So I'm more than happy now to be able to go on and um, carry on creating elements and hopefully then um, using moustache templating to then create the molecules and so on. So I think that concludes uh, experimenting with Pattern, pattern Lab.